It's going to get a little nerdy up in here. Join me, will you? Live look from SeaTac, something very similar to what we just saw from the other live look that we just had. Lots of raindrops, lots of Canada rock taking place. So let's circle back. That coastal flood warning was just widespread all the way up and down Puget Sound in that neon green color. That's going to stay in place until 1 a.m. As I was mentioning earlier, we are right on top of it. 712 will be the next high tide in Seattle, but don't expect it to be as severe as it was this morning. A lot of it had to do with that very powerful low pressure system that made landfall earlier today. In fact, it's already well on shore. That's why I'm not as concerned with tonight's low tide as we were with this morning. So low pressure. Well, what's the deal with that? Low pressure, as we've talked about many times, especially during the summertime, high pressure has a tendency to drive air downward and kind of clear everything away and make things sunny. Low pressure has a tendency to pull everything towards it, including cloud cover and precipitation, but it also has an upward pull. So initially I was thinking, well, it must have had something to do with the moon. The next full moon isn't until January 6th. This was a combination of some gusty winds that were pushing a lot of water on shore while we had that upward pull taking place in the atmosphere. So as far as atmospheric pressure goes, you don't need to know a whole lot about it other than normal sea pressure is about 1,013 millibars. That's how we measure it. An average hurricane is about 950 millibars. We see that low pressure drop it and create that very inclement weather that we see across the Atlantic and the Southern Pacific. Today's reading, 966. Yeah, we were just above hurricane status. So again, we didn't see hurricane force winds, thankfully, but we did see some big gusts across the region and we're seeing some very strong weather. In fact, this low is so powerful that it's steering some very heavy rain into Southern California where they've got some flooding issues tonight. We've got some issues on of our own. We've been seeing a lot of heavy rain that will continue to rain itself out. But by the time we get to about nine or 10 o'clock tonight, that should start to clear. It's been steady rain all the way up towards the Canadian border and across Vancouver Island through most of the afternoon and evening. Again, that will clear tonight. Another thing I'm tracking is snow levels that are dropping very, very quickly. So we were just talking a moment ago. How about things how clearing and opening up in the passes. I'm expecting snowfall to be about an inch per hour tonight. Meanwhile, taking a look at gusts, those purples, those are 50 miles an hour plus. We've been seeing some 30s and 40s all the way up and down the region. Wind direction and speed right now is about to change and become a little more zonal, and that could get winds going up towards Whidbey Island there later tonight, so we're not completely out of the woods yet. But by the time we get to about mm, 3 o'clock in the morning, we'll finally go from being gusty to simply breezy. One more thing I want to show you before I let you go here is snow will fall heavily in the mountains tonight during the next half hour. We'll track that together, but we're going to get some clearing tomorrow. In fact, we're going to get a cameo appearance from the sun. It'll stick around for one day before that next system moves in on Thursday. And while we're looking ahead, looks like Saturday evening could clear and be fantastic for that New Year's Eve fireworks show right here on King 5.